Let's see some of the other settings that we can define as part of QuickBooks posting preferences. Uh, here you define some of the other defaults that you can set up for posting online orders into QuickBooks. Uh, you can set up uh, the default terms in QuickBooks, uh, the default uh, sales rep if you have defined sales rep in your QuickBooks file. One of the more important settings is the class. If you sell on multiple websites and uh, you want to record a different class name in QuickBooks to differentiate the orders coming from different sites, so you can run uh, reports by class in QuickBooks, you can uh, specify a class name here for each of your online um, uh, store. If you allow gift certificate payment on your website, you can uh, select a payment type item to record gift certificate payment on your online order. You can select the default deposit to account. If you don't specify a setting here, the undeposited funds would be used as the default. You can specify a default uh, template that you want to uh, specify for the orders posted into QuickBooks. Specify the default accounts receivable account. If there is a discount on the online order, uh, you can record that in QuickBooks by selecting a discount type item in your QuickBooks. So this refers to the name of an item in QuickBooks which is of type discount. If you want to record customer comments from your website uh, in QuickBooks as a line item, you can do that. Um, by default, we record uh, customer comments from website in the memo field in QuickBooks, uh, but the memo field in QuickBooks is not printable. It does not print on any template. So if you want to print the customer's comments from website on your invoices in QuickBooks, you can uh, specify to record the customer comments as a line item in your QuickBooks file. And you select the item name uh, to record the customer comments uh, for. You can define that item uh, in QuickBooks as uh, other charge with zero uh, price, uh, and you can choose that here. Note that if you don't see a certain item in the drop downs, you can simply click on this uh, refresh from QuickBooks button and these uh, lists would be refreshed from your QuickBooks file that you're connected to. Some of the other settings here are to be emailed flag. If you want to email the invoices uh, transactions from your QuickBooks to your customer or purchase orders to your vendors, you can set the uh, is to be emailed flag here. If you want to do batch printing of your invoices from your QuickBooks, uh, you can select the to be printed flag then QuickBooks allows you to batch print those uh, transactions from within QuickBooks. The pending uh, status is for uh, sales receipt. You can mark uh, sales receipts as pending in QuickBooks if you want to uh, review uh, transactions in QuickBooks. In most cases, you would have pending status as no. <clears throat> These are the default uh, payment methods that you would uh, want to set up uh, in uh, QuickBooks. Uh, the exact payment method in QuickBooks can be mapped to the payment method coming from the website. And you can do that from here. Uh, click on payment method mapping. And this allows you to set payment method from uh, the website to payment methods in your QuickBooks. So let's say if the website calls the payment method as Visa, we want to map the payment method as Visa in QuickBooks. If the website payment method is NC, uh, we can map it to the payment method in QuickBooks called MasterCard and so on. Now, let's look at one more example. Let's say the payment method on website is PO. Uh, we can say the, webs, uh, the payment method in uh, QuickBooks is, let's say, check. And we can assign a status, a payment status uh, with each payment method. So we can say uh, the Visa and MasterCard are uh, payment status cleared and the purchase orders, the payment status is pending. Uh, we can even specify a different deposit to account for each payment method. So I can choose uh, one bank for Visa Master and I can choose another bank for my Amex transactions, for example. Uh, let's map it to American Express and this would be cleared. And let's say I deposit to a different bank in my QuickBooks file. Uh, similarly, for shipping method, you can map shipping method from your website to uh, shipping method in your QuickBooks file. So let's say your website calls the shipping method as expedited, and in uh, QuickBooks, you can map it to uh, UPS.